Craig with the Blue Garage. Welcome back. I am super excited for today's video. I haven't made a video in just about a month and I am looking forward to this pretty simple install. Honestly, uh, what I need to do today may take a total of five to six minutes total. Two separate things that I'm doing. Two bypasses that I am running uh, from Boost Auto Parts. Um, I ordered these parts and this is not Boost's fault. I ordered these parts at the end of November. They were supposed to arrive at my house in Michigan while I was home over Christmas break. And unfortunately they never arrived. They got stuck up in all of the mumbo jumbo uh, over the holiday shipping. So I didn't get my parts. No big deal. I called and contacted Boost Auto. They fixed the problem. I had them shipped here in Virginia where I'm at now. I got my parts and I am ready to install them finally. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. Again, pretty simple project uh, for both bypasses that I'm going to run. So let me get to that here in a second. But first, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to uh, also follow me on Instagram. And then don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm looking forward to posting a lot more videos here in the future. Uh, I have a couple ideas for future videos. And I would also like to hear what you have to say. Uh, maybe you would like to see me install a specific part or do something, uh, you know, that others haven't done on their pages as well. So uh, let's get to it. We've got Blue Boss right there. Beautiful day here in Virginia. So we're gonna have some fun. So the first bypass that we're running, again, from Boost Auto, right here, is to get those fog lights working automatically with the parking lights. So if you run your truck like I do on the auto light setting, every time that your parking lights come on, your fog lights will be on and you never have to hit that button. Again, it's a small little thing. It's not a big deal to always hit that button. It's not difficult to do, but I like that feature that every time I start my truck, the fog lights will be on as well. So pretty simple bypass that we're gonna be running. And then the second one is for the third brake light and the cargo light. So whenever I kick my truck into reverse, my third brake light will also shine bright, give me a little added backup light, and then so will my cargo light. And we'll get to that as well as uh, we move on through the video. Two simple bypasses. Let me show you guys exactly what it consists of. They are both the same setup. You got two little clamps or tacks that tap into the wiring harness underneath the dashboard. And then you have the connector in the middle. Um, same exact thing for both parts. Pretty simple. I'll walk through step by step on how to do it. And I'll do one at a time so it's not confusing. It's pretty straightforward. And, you know, like I said, might take five to six minutes total to hook up, if that. And um, then we'll be up and running. Something about these small installs like this that are quick and easy it's just so satisfying i don't know if it's because you're saving money on something so simple or just because you know you're completing the little things on your vehicle that you know make it really stand out because at the end of the day yeah big big changes such as wheels and tires performance parts whatever the case may be it's awesome it's a great feeling to put those on but at the end of the day it's the small things that really make your truck or your vehicle exactly how you want it and uh are probably the most satisfying in my opinion. As you see here, remote start. As it kicks on, there goes the parking light, but my fog lights are yet to be on. We have to install that. Again, quick little install, we're gonna kick that off. Next time I do this remote start, you're gonna be able to see the fog lights kick on at the same time. So as you see from Boost Auto, we have these two kits. Same exact part number, because all they are is just bypasses. You get to pick which one you wanna do. If I wanted to use this for, say, um, my all lights video, 
Uh, basically what that is, is I can get my mirror lights on the back of my mirrors to also work with my high beams if I wanted. But the two I'm gonna be focusing on here, and they have their own video instructions, which are great. And I watched them prior to making this video myself, but the auto fog light bypass and then the reverse cargo video bypass, pretty simple. We're gonna get underneath here and see if we can see. So where we're gonna be working, it's kind of dark. We have this harness kit right here with all the wires going in. Let me pause you real quick and I'll get my flashlight working so you can see. Better. So now that the flashlight's working, you can see a lot better. We're gonna be focusing on the brown and the pink wiring harnesses here. First, the brown will be just strictly for the fog lights. And then the brown and the pink will be for both the third brake light and the cargo light on the tailgate. All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to get down here and get to the brown connector. There's a little lever right here. Just press that and it'll pull right out. Pretty simple. So the first one we're going to be tapping into will be the third row down from the top, right where this blue and white wire is, and third one in. If you look, it is that brown and white wire just off the tip of my thumb running up through there. So it's gonna be a little tough to get to. I'll use the wire tap here. Let me set the camera down and show you how I do it. So separate the wire just as such. Put the tap in until it clicks together. Boom, clicked in. Pretty easy. Step one, done. Step two will be number 22. This one is much easier than the uh, last one. Number 22 is the bottom one here, uh, which is this blue cable. Pretty easy to get to. Again, separate it from the others. Put it where it needs to go. And then connect it. There we go. And step three, it's pretty easy. This time, Notice how there's two ends, there's a side marked with blue, and then a side that is not marked with a blue band. The blue band goes towards the 10th wire. So put it in until it clicks. All right, you'll feel it click. Didn't really make any noise. And then the other end, pretty self-explanatory, goes in the other side. We're connected just like that. Next. All we have to do is plug it back in. And like I said, I'm doing this one separate. I'll be pulling this right back out here in a second to do the rear lights. So, and we are connected. Now the true test, guys. Let's see whenever I do the auto start if the fog lights work. There she goes. Pretty simple job. Pretty quick and easy. Tough getting the camera in there to show you guys. So I hope that helped a little bit whenever I got in there the second time, was able to pinpoint exactly which wires to tap into. This did the job. This did exactly what I was looking to do. Again, maybe I'm lazy. I don't like hitting the button every time. I just like the auto feature. I think the fog lights look pretty sweet whenever the uh, truck's on. So makes me happy. Next, we're gonna do the reverse lights. Going up to get these connectors out, we're gonna get the brown and the pink connectors out this time. Brown again was the one we just used. Depressing that lever, pulling straight down. And then the pink. Pulling straight 
straight down. Now the two, now the two wires that we're going to be tapping into are 26 on the brown and 26 on the pink here. 26 on the brown is pretty simple. It's this last wire here or the bottom right hand corner. You can see the number 26. Let's see if I can get you in there. You can see the number 26 right there in the bottom right hand corner. So that's the first wire. Mine happens to be blue. Don't go off of the colors of my wires just in case yours are different. I would hate for you to screw up just based on my wiring harness here. Go until you hear that click. I'm tapped in. Grab my other one. And on the pink, number 26 is the second one in. So as you see in the bottom right-hand corner, number 27 is there. Second one in is that brown and white wire. I'll be tapping in there. There, we're clicked in there. Now, the connector, the blue end is gonna go to the brown, brown end. And the unmarked end is going to the pink. Now we just gotta plug them back in. And we will be ready to play, guys. All right, both are plugged in. As you guys saw, those are two quick, easy projects to do. You don't need any tools. Honestly, you just need to squeeze them tight. The videos on Boost Auto suggest that you may need pliers or something to squeeze those taps together. They were a little difficult to squeeze together, but nothing, nothing overly difficult. Uh, once they click, you're ready to go plug and play. So let me move to somewhere a little darker. As you see, the sun's shining. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to... Uh, Go somewhere a little darker where you can see the reverse lights a little better and those fog lights and we'll go from there. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you saw, we had the tailgate light here light up as well as the third brake light. There's a quick little video. I'll, I'll put that in slow-mo for you guys, but uh, let there be light. It looks good. I had the Lost Fit uh, bulbs, LED bulbs already in my reverse lights along with the license plate lights as well. So. I've done a lot of modifications as far as the lighting goes on this truck and I'm pretty happy with the outcome. So we got my fog lights that are automatically working now as well as that third brake light in maybe, I don't know, six minutes total. Maybe a little longer because I had to walk you guys through how to do it and I'm beyond happy with the outcome. So again, thanks for tuning in to the Blue Garage. My name is Greg. Please give me a follow here on Instagram. Uh, that helps out the page a lot. Start following me on there. See more of my updates as I can update as I'm pretty busy uh, right now. But making the most of what I can in the limited time that I do have available. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see what I have next for Big Blue. Get in the comments below as well. Let me know what you would like to see me do uh, on the truck. And, you know, maybe we can uh, figure out some more performance i'm thinking exhaust maybe some uh, new wheels and tires we'll see we'll, we'll see what time allows but thanks guys for tuning in don't forget to hit that like button and i will see you next time
Take care.